HK, yes. Oh, oh shit, oh my god. There's two here, why? Interesting, let's investigate. All right guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the vlog. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button and welcome. Now, as you guys can see here, I've got two HKS blow off valves, super sequential blow off valves, but there's a difference. One is real, one is fake. And I'm gonna show you really quick, just some quick cues um, or quick tips on spotting the fake one. First off, let's start with the boxes. All right guys, so as you guys can see side by side that there are some subtle differences in the boxes. Now, as I'm gonna already point out, this one's the real one, this one's the fake one. Now, if I come in just a little bit closer, let's start here. Look at, look at the line here, extra thick on the fake one, where this one's extra small. So that's one way to spot, like really quick. Um, the other thing is too, um, take a look at the colors. Okay, um, on the fake one, it's it's more pronounced. It basically says, "Hey, look at me! Um, I'm the real one. I'm a real HKS blow valve." This is actually the real HKS blow valve box, and as you guys can see, it's the letters are silver versus the um, blackish uh, going into silver back to black. Same thing, you know. The other thing is too is the four is lighter on a real box versus on the fake box. The other thing is you take a look at these, the top of these box, that top red line there. Now, as you guys can see on the real one, it goes all the way uh, to around the outside of the box. On the fake one, it looks like it goes all the way to the outside of the box, but doesn't even go all the way to the back of the box. And, that's actually, that line's on a uh, lid. So those are a couple of really quick ways to spot a fake one from a real one. All right guys, another way to spot a real one versus a fake one is, this is the fake one, okay? Um, and one important thing to note is, when I got the fake one, it was wrapped in like paper bag, um, as opposed to the real one, which was actually wrapped in this foam. I just thought that was pretty hilarious and things like that. Um, now, <clears throat> another way to spot a real one from a fake one. The fake one is gonna come with that C-clip. And as you can see, it's flat on both sides. And it's dark, okay? So, and you'll see, the, you'll, you'll see them in pictures. A real one comes with this silver seat clip, A, and then B, I don't know how well you can see that on a camera, but you see how it has that edge there? Um, that edge actually makes it easier for the seat clip to slide into, um, to hold this down and take the seat clip off easier. So when you get it, when you see an HKS blow off valve, real, fake. Real, fake, real, fake. And I'm pretty sure you guys are probably wondering, well, how do you know which one's real and which one's fake? Um, as far as from the naked eye. By the naked eye, you really can't tell the difference. They both obviously look very similar. They both have the uh, hologram there. Um, as you can see on the HKS. Here's how you can tell really easily which one's real and which one's fake. So on a fake, on a real one, you see those nuts right there? You see how short the top of that nut is? That's a sign that it's a real HKS blow off valve. You see the difference in height there? How those, that hat on the nut is taller? Versus, I think you could see it there. Uh, there you go, yeah. Kind of, sorry, but th for some unknown reason on the fake ones, they always put the, the higher hat, the higher um, hat nut. Maybe that's what's available, things like that, but that's how you can actually tell that if it's fake or not, just, just based on that nut right there. If it's sitting too high, 
or sitting high is probably fake. I mean, again, look at that. Look at the difference there. It's, um, it's, I wouldn't necessarily say it's an easy thing to spot at first glance, but it's something you should definitely pay attention to. Um, I also did notice last night that that opening is actually smaller than that opening, but it does not going to show well on my camera right now. But there are differences there. So why am I showing you guys this? Well, as you can see, there's more to this video. And what's to come? Well, tomorrow, I'm actually going to install the... Uh, I'm going to put my... Um, my uh, uh, I can't think today. Sorry. Um, I'm actually going to put my intercooler back in and put the new blow off valve on. Right now there's a fake one on my Genesis Coupe. Now, I didn't put that one on. That's one that actually came on the car. And I didn't buy this one just to make this video. I actually bought this one thinking it was a real HKS blow valve and that, um, you know, I was trying to get around being a little cheap. eBay. Yeah. HKS doesn't sell this. What, so what I'm actually going to do is um, I'm going to put in the description of this video um, all of the authorized dealers, at least in the United States, that dealers that are authorized to sell the HKS, HKS products and things like that. So I will put this down in the description of the video. Tomorrow, because obviously this video isn't going to end, it's only going to end for tonight, um, you guys are going to watch me install the um, intercooler and the new blow valve. So stick around for that. Um, let me know what you guys think about the video, about what I've said about this. If you have anything that you want to add to it, please add it in the comment section um, because obviously we're trying to help people here and things like that. So until tomorrow, when all the fun starts, because there's supposed to be a nor'easter, um, until tomorrow, I'll see you then. I got to go to the gym. I got to work out. You know, you know how I do. If you're new to the channel and haven't hit that subscribe button, hit that subscribe button. Um, so I will see you Manana, 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 yeah, yeah. All right, so see you tomorrow. Whoa, wait, 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 one more thing I just noticed, hadn't noticed it before. It's pretty freaking interesting. Look at that, okay? And you look at that, blank, right? Now you look at that, but you look at that on the real HKS box, it's actually stamped with a number. Um, another serial number. That's interesting, and obviously that is important. So if you're buying these off of eBay um, or anything like that, more than likely it's probably fake. So just pointing that out. Okay, going to the gym. Almost forgot a couple other things too. Um, first of all, I got the direction. Now, I actually lost the directions for the fake one, but these are the directions for the real one. And what's interesting is, these are actually stapled together like a little book. The real ones didn't come that way and weren't as clear cut. Um, and actually, the fake ones, you guys can see that. Let's see there. There you go. Yeah, whatever. The, the fake ones didn't have an English version to it, which was kind of weird. Um, and the other thing, the real one which helps as a serial number right there which um, obviously helps in spotting a real versus the fake because the fake one the black one didn't have a serial number um, the only serial number it had was the one that's right here and it's obviously a different number but um, yeah, so those are just a couple other things. Now I'm going to go to the gym, and I'll see you guys tomorrow so we can do some work to the Genesis Coupe. Again, if you're new to the channel, go back, watch the other videos, things like that. Um, I am going to put those other videos um, in certain playlists because um, one of you guys did request that I put all the build videos in one playlist. So I'm going to do that for you guys um, just because that's what you requested. That's what I'm going to do. So I'll see you tomorrow. Headed to the gym. Got it working out, son. All right. Till tomorrow. Peace. What's going on, everybody? Um, so, you know that plan I had um, about putting the intercooler in and the blow valve? Well, um, yeah, as you guys can see, yes, I am driving. Um, it's raining outside. Great, yay. Um, that is what's known in Connecticut as a nor'easter. 
which means it could rain, it could snow, could be um, hurricane force winds, crap like that. That's what the Northeast is apparently all about. Um, I'm trying to find like, hopefully one of the guy, I did call um, my boys, but like their, their garage is full and things like that right now. So I can't necessarily go in there and do that today. I'm waiting for somebody else to um, text me back and he hasn't. So I'll let you guys know if we can do this today. I may just, might just do it outside in the rain because I can do that because I'm not afraid of a little water. So I'll let you guys know, but uh, yeah, yeah. Not looking too good out today. This is ridiculous. God, everybody's just messing with me. Um, and oh yeah, the other thing is too, finally my, apparently the registration should be done I should be getting my plates in the next week or so, hopefully. Um, yeah, it's not hasn't been a good time um, getting this new car, this car versus having the old Genesis Coupe. I missed the black one, but yeah, you know, gotta work with what I got. So <sighs> I'll let you guys know. Talk to you in a little bit. All right, guys. So I'm home, and I'm thinking I may. Let's go in the garage here. As you guys can see, my uh, dilemma here, I've got all that stuff kind of in the front of the garage. My garage obviously isn't that big. What I'm thinking I may do is try to... <laughs> see my dilemma here? Um, try to move some of this stuff. That's an actual shelf back there. So probably putting those doors on the shelf um, and moving some of this stuff back. So that way, this stuff as well. So that way I can pull the front of the car into the garage. Um, so I can, yeah, so I won't be completely, well, I won't be in the rain. And uh, hopefully that works. I'm thinking, because again, I have to take off the front bumper. Um, believe it or not, if I don't, if I didn't, I don't necessarily have to take out the old intercooler. Um, for a while, I drove around with two intercoolers on the other car. It looked good. It looked good. No, it didn't. It was stupid. Um, it was just there. It was more weight. Once I took it out, you know, weight savings made the car faster. No, it didn't. Um, but um, I'm thinking at least get the intercooler in today, and then I'll do what I did before, which is take the old intercooler out um, a little bit later. Um, and then go from there. So let me know what you guys think about that or not because I'm probably just going to do it anyway. Um, yeah. Let me uh, go get changed and then I'll go ahead and have a ton of fun. So yeah. Alright guys, so <laughs> I did get some work or some stuff done. It probably doesn't look like it on camera now that I take a look at it through the camera. But I actually have like, ooh, space to walk. And I got the doors up there, things like that. Um, I'm actually, I, I've, I've been having a thought while I've been cleaning up, which is I'm thinking I might try to see if I can get this exhaust rebent back. I'm going to, I think I'm going to put the exhaust on and then maybe take this part right here. If it can't be fixed, um, straight pipe basically straight pipe it and then obviously i'm gonna have to do it to that side as well um and the reason being um i got a call from uh gen racer um and basically the um the cnt exhaust for the 2.0 genesis coupe has been put on push back to december the end of december which sucks ass so that's my idea for this exhaust because I think it can be saved um, and it might get a little bit louder. Um, so I think what I'm going to do is run to a few uh, exhaust places and see if it's possible. I took pictures, things like that. Um, so let me know what you guys think. Um, also. If you can recall, yesterday I did a really, really, 
Yesterday I did a really, really short, quick video just to um, kind of a preview of what's going on today. Um, and I put a poll in this video. Um, and remember, I also put the, um, I did put the, um, I can't even think right now, all the authorized dealers for the HKS uh, products in the description below in this video in case you guys are looking or wondering who's an authorized dealer. Um, but uh, I did say, um, like I said, I was going to put a poll on what exactly I should do next. So check that poll out. It's in this video somewhere here or in the, you know, you know. Um, take the poll. Let me know um, what you guys want to see me do next. Obviously, again, I want to to put the intercooler in but again because I live in the Northeast and it is a craptacular day out here um, it's not really showing well on camera right now because you know it's uh yeah it trust me it's it, it's crappy and windy and things like that and again I don't have enough room so um, but that poll is to figure out what you guys want me to put on the card next and you'll see the two parts, uh, the two options that I'm giving you guys for next, and we can, and we will continue this um, going forward about which parts you want me to do next and things like that. So um, take that poll. Let me know what you guys think. Um, and actually, before I go, I gotta crank this motor um, or just turn a crank because I haven't turned it in a long time. So I just want to make sure everything's good. So let me do that first. You, you can stick around. For Ooh, haven't touched you in a minute. I'm talking about the, the this. Yeah, yeah. Just go. Okay, that's once you gotta do this twice. And I just wanna check something out because I haven't bolted this down yet. So that's once. Stay right there, and then as I'm doing, yeah, you go back and watch the uh, the timing video if you haven't watched that. It's actually pretty simple. Something there bothers me. Flashlight. <sighs> see that? Okay, there we go. We're good. I just want to see where the timing marks are. So you got the one there, the one up there, and hmm, hold on one second. Yeah. You see that tight? These two timing marks right there should line up, and they do. So. Obviously, the timing hasn't messed up, thank God. Um, and yeah, that's... All right, guys, so obviously, the motor's been ready to go in, things like that. Um, so, but obviously, with the accident and me needing, to get, me needing to get another Genesis Coupe, things like that, things kind of slowed down, but they should pick right back up. So let me know what you guys think about this video. Take the poll, um, and um, definitely like, share, comment, and subscribe if you haven't um, again thank you guys for watching thank you guys for coming back um, please let me know what you guys think as far as me doing videos once a week for now um, I know this one was a little bit disappointing because I wanted to get the intercooler and stuff in which is not that hard to do but um, unfortunately because of weather and just availability with spaces and things like that um, we couldn't get it done I'm sorry I apologize that just tells me that I do need to get my own shop or some space or something. So anyway, until next time, make no limitation your only limitation. Peace.